What to do with the hulking mess of the half finished Wayne County Jail sitting on Gratiot? Spend the extra millions to finish it or take up Dan Gilbert on an offer to build the jail on another site so that he can put a soccer stadium here. Tonight, Wayne County Executive Warren Evan Evans with some answers on where things stand. So we bring in Mara McDonald, who is live at the jail. I guess we'll call it the jail site for now, Mara. That's right, Devin. And after listening to Wayne County Executive Warren Evans tonight, it seems pretty clear that Dan Gilbert may have made him an offer that for this site that he could actually refuse. Take a listen. While the rock proposal remains worth considering, it doesn't change the fact we are closer to building on Gratiot than at East Forest. And with that, Wayne County, County Executive County. Warren Evans laid it out in his annual State of the County address. Dan Gilbert's Rock Ventures proposal has to be taken seriously, but it's no done deal. Rock has a lot of work to do to meet our timetable. This isn't posturing or hyperbole, and it's not anti-soccer. It's just where we are today. The costs for Wayne County's new jail at the Gratiot site spiraled hysterically out of control under the now ousted Fakano regime. Evans and the county commission have been trying to come up with the proposal that hits the county taxpayers the least. Enter Dan Gilbert, who says he'll build the county its new criminal justice complex, not just a jail, on East Forest if the county will give him $300 million and the site on Gratiot for a new glitzy Major League Soccer Stadium and Entertainment District. $300 million is what the county thinks it will need to spend to finish the stalled jail on the Gratiot site. At the end of the day, Dan Gilbert may have good intentions and be willing to adequately fund the three new buildings the county will need if we move to an alternative site. But the question remains, at the end of which day? Back here live, and let's not forget that Rock Ventures is not the only name in this game. The county already has a request for proposal, or RFP, out with Walsh Construction for final numbers on what it's going to cost to finally get this thing built here. And they are expecting those numbers in May. We're live downtown tonight. I'm Mara McDonald, Local 4.